Good morning, everybody. Hi. Okay, we're talking about Kamu bread. So if you have any question, this is the live to do it because we wanna answer every question you've ever had, any question about the bread. Um, for those of you that are new to following and don't understand, this is why this is gonna be good for you. This is our bag that we created. It's been now how many weeks? I think we've had it almost a month. Almost a month. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It feels like <laughs> yesterday. Probably no, it's been a month. Yeah. <laughs> feels like yesterday. So my dad and all of us, we created this amazing. Yay! I made it on a live. Too. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, we yeah, their good friend helped create this amazing bag. So this is Thank what you. this has been so fun for us to be able to sell this. And uh, soon after the whole bag came out, we decided last minute to do Swiss days. And it was amazing. It was amazing first to meet all of you, second to really get to talk to every single person about Kamut and all about it. So like I keep telling everybody, we have not had anybody that has been feeling sad or regretting their purchase. They are happy. <laughs> they are happy and coming back for more. And somebody else last night again, I need to go back to reading um, your amazing messages that come through on our we DMs. Do. We do. But somebody yesterday wrote in and said, my sister-in-law has now been eating the Kamu bread and I've been giving it to her for like four days says that she is um, gluten tolerant and her stomach feels so good. good. So that oh. is like the, that's how we many just keep hearing. I know, that's I, what we keep hearing. Every minute, and people that have been off bread for eight years said, do you really think we can try this? We're not celiac, we're gluten free. And we said, try it, because everybody is loving it. It's working. Um, it's so easy on the digestion system. It, it It's so perfect. And well, let me tell you this too. I feel like ever since my mom really discovered this, I wasn't really thinking much about it. But I feel like most people are now becoming gluten intolerant because of the way that they process our white flour now. That's how I feel. And more people that I'm talking to, they're like white flour is so cheap on the shelf because they're just stripping it of everything. It's a crazy easy process. They're just pumping it out of the factories. And she agreed, one of the ladies yes. at Swiss Days yes. said, I have to agree. She said, I think it's what's causing some of the problem is because it's so hard to digest. Which is really sad. Well, they're mixing so many grains now. So many grains. They're putting, you know, good ones with bad ones. I don't know what they're doing, but it's it's mixing it all up. Everybody knows that. This is a pure strain of of um, wheat, and so that's that's the one of the greatest benefits of our kamut is that it's pure. It's from the thirty six grains, um, and they've been working on. Growing this in we Montana, a couple questions. In, keep going. in Idaho, a little bit in Idaho, um, the Dakotas. It's it's taking off in Europe like you cannot believe, and mostly because it's gluten tolerant. And well, first is the taste, of course. Number one is the taste. It's so delicious. That's why we got sold on it. That is why we got sold on it. I knew how good it was for you. And but so then that when really I tasted it. it, I was like, are you kidding me? Because that's what sealed it, it for me. Yeah. I was thinking, you're crazy, mom. Like, there's no way you can use it cup for cup. And I, I was sold. I was sold. It's like I personally and my husband... We don't want to eat it unless it has kamu, and he, that is a serious, that, like, that we're is. serious. <laughs> that is. But it is. It's so good. And and the thing is, the white kamu all-purpose flour that we sell, we also sell the whole grain. You can grind it yourself. That makes incredible bread, and even is more nutritionally beneficial and sound. I like it best in bread. I don't like to use it in everything else. No. Um, but it is the best whole grain bread I've ever eaten, ever. And this is the best white all-purpose flour I've ever eaten, ever. I think it's the two best flours in the world. I agree. Okay, we have got to distribute in Canada. 
Oh my goodness, we do. We I mean, distribute well, it. Well, um, once we get it on Amazon, get going on Amazon, I think that that will be um, good. Yeah. So I think that that will be our best bet for Canada. We love Canada. We okay. do love Canada. It was so much fun to meet you at Swiss Days and to finally get both cookbooks. Oh, we oh, loved meeting everybody. That really was such a highlight for us. Okay, celiac here made sourdough bread with Camus yesterday and no inflammation. Whoa, with celiac. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Try it without the sourdough. I think I think you might be able to do it. It's that's incredible. The emails are just coming in every day. Many, not just one or two, many are, we're getting Instagrams, emails, we're hearing stories from friends. Um, I was, I started to tell you about the ones that hadn't eaten bread for so long and they've got their sister now, you know, paying yeah. them to, to make them the bread, these boys. We've got so, we've got people who are on strict diets, um, like the, a fad more of the fad diets that are not allowed bread and they're even eating it and finding that wait a minute I can do this I, I can I can eat this bread and I told you in the last live which people um a lot of you keep laughing about is um somebody I like took them the cookie remember when we did the Seuss cookie thing and I took one of the girls that I know a cookie and she said that most of the time she doesn't even like to go to a lot of bakeries because it tastes like, um, no, chemical. chemical. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then a lot of you are like, you're right. It tastes like hand sanitizer. So <laughs> it's been funny. It's funny. And so I know that a lot of people are just loving that we're, we're getting into this and they can taste how yummy it is. But we've got to start showing the bread too. Yeah. But, um, okay, how... I wish I would have bought some Camus. How do I get some from you? Okay, just to recap again, there are three locations if you really want to go all the way to Woodland. The most um, people are driving is Highland and Midway. And we don't want to talk too, too soon, but we really are hoping to have a little store. Well, but we have two pickups for now. <laughs> yeah, we're not sure because at our meeting last night, we're thinking that Amazon might even be better and then that and possibly getting it in other stores around Salt Lake and Provo area. Yeah, so we'll and figure that out. But so, so you can either DM me for my sister-in-law. You a lot of you think you're going to a shop. <laughs> We're not super fancy yet, but you're going to my sister-in-law in Highland and then in Midway you're coming to me. So just um come get our information and you can come and, and get other some than flour. That, they can go to thefoodnanny.com and order is it. Is the Kamut? Yes, yes. Is the Kamut recipe written somewhere? It is on our website, thefoodnanny.com. Or when you buy a five pound bag, you get the recipe on the back. So there, those are the two. Um, okay, yes, it's on her bag, okay. I'm an Amazon consultant with sellers. If you need any help with getting your item on Amazon, DM me, love it, love the Kamu flour best bread. Wow, thank you, okay. You DM us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> love getting a hug from the food nanny at Swiss Days, my life is complete. Oh, That's wow. That's very nice. That's very Have nice. Have you ever done any natural um, leaven, uh, leaven, leaven beef, leaven -y beef, breads? Oh, breads. Seems like sourdough helps break down gluten. New to it, the natural. It does. I, I have made um, the natural from grapes. And there's a um, company, Volker's Bakery. Um, years and years ago, they came to Utah. And they published a recipe once. It's been like 20 years ago. And I really got into doing, making my own yeast with the grapes. That bread is incredible. Um, I don't, I haven't made it forever. It takes a lot of patience and it takes seven days to get the grapes, you know, to use as the yeast. But it's an incredible wow. bread and I'm sure we could dig up the recipe or get it from somebody. I, I don't even know where it is at this point. But when I was working on so many different breads 20, 30 years ago, I was into that. So, um, Yes, try to, to, 
I'll see if I can find that recipe if anybody's okay, interested. Okay, let me move this. So I really want to film you, Mom, as we start the bread. Um, so as we know, the, the bread recipe right here on the back, um, what we do is we make a sponge first. So the recipe says, in a large bowl, mix the yeast, the water, the honey, and four cups of flour. Mix until well combined. Cover and let rest for 20 to 30 minutes or until almost double. Okay, so we have our three cups of water right here. We're just going to put in the bowl. And two tablespoons of yeast. And this is the yeast that we're always using. It's the Red Star. You can use trying to pin um, this. the other, the, the quick yeast you can use as well. Okay, two tablespoons of yeast, and then a third of a cup of honey. We divide the, the honey uh, in the recipe, so the other third of a cup will go in in a minute. Lizzie, your honey's a little bit sugary. <laughs> I know, I can't find my other one. That's fine, but because that's <laughs> the great thing about honey is that you just put it in the microwave, I, I love honey because it's another whole food. So what we're mixing into our bread are just natural ingredients. Yeast is very natural. Um, our honey is a whole food and of course water. And then we're mixing in this amazing, um, what do you oh, mean? it's right here. We're mixing in four cups of our amazing Kamut flour. And I, I mix up the flour, I mix it around with the cup, whichever kind of measuring cup I'm using, I mix it around, and then I dip in, and I just sort of level like that. And I've actually um, tried doing, doing it like this, and then taking the knife, you know, and sort of doing that, and you actually come out with the same amount. I've tried it so many times. So there's one, two, three, and then four. We're just going to mix this together. So we have what we have left now to add after this sponge is what we call it. This gives it an extra chance to ferment it. Firm, um, ferment a little. Okay, this someone said, made the French baguettes with the Kamut flour. My kids loved it. Any thoughts on why my loaves would be more flat, not really round loaves? Would it be a baguette pan? Just bought but haven't tried. So yes. Thinking, I don't know if I had exactly three cups of water in here, but it's looking a little, um, a little dry, but it will be fine. Okay, we're just going to mix it up and just let it... Just let it um, rest. We'll put a towel on this, or we'll we putting a towel on this will be simple. Today, every day is a little bit different with weather, and it was looking a little dry, but it will be just fine. We'll look at it in a minute. Um, when we go, let's look. She said you added five cups of flour. Was that what I did? <laughs> is that what I seriously did? So I added five cups of flour. Well, okay. don't worry, everybody. I'm to the rescue because okay. I made some this morning. Okay, I'm so glad you caught me because I'm like, that's a little I'm like that. thick. It's, it's so... When you first get to that step, it is runny. Yeah. It's runny. I'm thinking, what did I just do? I don't know. Don't worry. Food Nanny Junior yeah. is, is doing she, okay. Lizzie, you're to the rescue. So now go ahead with yours. So show them how great it looks. Okay, I just Because added... it's really sticky, and you're going to feel like something is totally wrong with it. Okay, but... let's start over. Okay. <laughs> someone see. said you didn't, but someone said you did. I, I don't know. know. What I, did. I don't know, but it doesn't look like that normally. No. Okay, so look at my French bowl. Did we ever show you how we, when we went back to Garand, we found a pottery place. Oh man, my heart was singing. I was oh. so happy because I do weird things when I get so excited. I was like squinting my eyes. You guys, this is the same brand that Anthropology sells. 
and and we have like the pitcher yes, and they have the plates and the bowls. I could not believe it. In that little tiny town of Garand, man, that was like the most amazing trip ever. But I won't even tell you how much I got this for because you'll be super oh, sad. Oh, you'll be, be super so sad. You'll be so jealous. I don't want to make you jealous. But I can't even believe I got this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> My mom got it too. We're like, we're gonna make our kamut bread in it every day. Okay, what do I have? Kamut flour all over me? Okay, what did we say? So Lizzie, go ahead. And Where did you get your t-shirt from? Oh. Oh, that's nice. This is from Madewell. I've already worn it all summer, but <laughs> yeah, we love Madewell. If you know us, we love Madewell. It's a problem. I know. Okay. So now this is already, so she, we've already done the process of right. letting what my mom just showed you. Plus then we let it rise for like what? 20 to 30 minutes. Then when you get back to this process, you add three more cups of flour, some melted butter, and more honey. And salt. And, and salt. Tablespoon one of tablespoon of our salt. salt. And then you mix it up and you let this rise again for another 20 to 30 minutes. So now we're at this point, okay? So now, did you ever find my scale? Um, no, you need okay, to get I'm that. Okay, get my scale out. So now we're at this point, we've already kneaded it and it's perfect and so Lizzie's gonna show you how to roll it out. I wish we could and back the camera up some. Did you carry the huge bowl on the plane? Oh, you better believe it. Oh yeah. You better believe I did. Ashton, the bowl, that bowl is what dreams are made of. I know, they sell, <laughs> they seriously, they sell this bowl on the Anthropology website, but I'm, I seriously can't tell you the cost, the price of this. You will cry, you will be so sad. But the, all of our sisters are so angry oh. that we didn't bring all of them one, but there literally was only two. And so I will hand carry, if I have treasures, I hand carry those babies on the plane with me. I don't want them breaking or I would be so sad. Okay, everybody. Okay, so now we're punching it down. Before we do, <laughs> let me show exactly how Food this Food Nanny's looks. gonna redeem herself. Yeah, I, this is crazy. I don't know what I did. Okay, here is what it looks like. So I have the four cups of flour. You never answered the girl's baguette question. Okay, what was it? So the four this cups. This is what it looks like. This is exactly what it looks it's like. It's really sticky at this point. Okay, it's sticky at this point. So I don't know if I added five cups of flour or what. Um, I, I think I already had one in there is what happened. Okay, so Here, it's let's sticky. let's move this over. And it's exactly like, it, this is exactly what it should look like. And now we're just gonna cover <laughs> it, okay? So sorry. Okay. You redeemed, Daddy, your, you, you redeemed yourself, Mom. Okay, oh my goodness. did you get the girl's baguette question? Do you want me to ask it again? Yeah. Um, where did it go? Oh, no, that's the new one. Where did it go? The one that she was asking. I don't see it now. Okay, but no, this for one my says, baguettes, I used um, cloth rolled up on the sides to avoid the, the dough from spreading during the process. That's an amazing way to do it. Okay, but the, we lost the last question, but it, yes, a baguette pan is going to make it more authentic. If but, you did it on the cookie sheet, I, that's when it goes flatter. Yes, but if she has the type no, of cloth. No, this wasn't her. Oh, oh, oh okay. This yes. girl was saying what she does. Okay, okay, yes. The cloth is amazing. That is so professional. Yeah, that's it's, professional. The cloth is cool. That's even better than ever, but the baguette pan is easy, and it, it will allow your baguette to... Um, you know, hold its shape. Whereas if you put it on, it works if you put it on a cookie sheet, but it isn't as good. Okay, just come here for a minute. Okay, start doing this for a second. Okay, I'm trying to just move so it. we have the dough that we'll just take out just like this. This is perfect dough, Lizzie. Thank you. So I'm so happy. Thank so you. Happy. It's perfect <laughs> dough. Teasing. Okay. Oh, what are they saying? Oh, just tell us. <laughs> Should I tell them? Tell them what? How much this was. Oh my goodness, go ahead. Thirteen dollars. Amazing. Thirteen. I'm gonna just, oh. She had two of them that day, so we each got one. We so each what, got one. So what we're doing when we get the bread out of the bowl and it's all the dough out of the bowl and it's ready to go, we're just sort of, kind of just spreading it out like this, okay, with your hands. 
And then we take our dough scraper. Lizzie, where's your dough scraper? Um, my dough scraper. Or a knife. Whatever you have, a dough scraper or a knife. Right there. Which, which is perfect. Now this recipe is going to make either two large loaves or six mini. Okay? I know, you're jealous. I know. I, know. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Okay. <laughs> so Lizzie, um, if we were to make two large loaves, I brought different pans. No, we're not doing large. I, I don't know, wanna show but, large. But I wanted to show them, this is the size of pan that I actually made the recipe for when it was two large loaves. I also love this <laughs> pan. It's a glass pan that is makes it, I don't know what it is about it, but it turns out so bakery perfect. I love And that's just this. Pyrex, right? Yes, yeah, Pyrex, Pyrex is so inexpensive but and it's great. These are the pans that I've had for so forever, for like 50 years. And to put they up. are great too. It's a large um, loaf pan. And those are great. That's what I made the recipe for when it says two loaves, okay? But what I found out over the last couple of years, oh God, paper towels back there. for me, and I didn't know if other people would feel the same, for me, I'm thinking that the minis are better. They, they freeze um, so great. You, you're taking bread out of the oven more, more often, but it's just that it's the perfect little loaf for every reason, for a little sandwich. Um, it, it keeps it fresh, like it you said, longer. Fresh longer. Like you go through it faster. Okay, I made baguettes this morning with Kamut. My family is so spoiled. They won't eat any bread from any from the store anymore. That is so funny. Oh, that's That's so what great. I call love from France. I agree. Have you tried the cast iron bread pans? No, no, I would love to though. Are they great? I all right, all right, let's okay. keep going. So what we'll do is we'll divide Can the you dough. see with the comments and everything? Uh, not really. Lizzie, go ahead. Lizzie, I want you to do this now. So we'll divide the Okay, we have figured out with the mini loaves that they are about 10, uh, in, 10 ounces. ounces on a scale. So, and the only reason we started doing the scale is because I think they just come out more So there's perfect. 10, okay. There's no, that's too small. Right? Keep oh, going. Wow. Okay, no, no, no that's no, it's too much. No, it's too much. Okay, it doesn't so have to be ten. exact. It doesn't have to be exact. Like but around just ten it, something. Ten something. Okay, so there's eight. So you should get now a little more. Hmm. No, now it's ten. Okay, so there's ten. So there's three. Okay, so now we ten. have okay the mini loaves. So here, show. So go ahead and you you show them first. Okay, how you do it. <laughs> Why me? So this okay, is so starting. Okay, so now we're gonna spray. Just spray really well. Okay, but this is the process that I want to make to get perfection. Okay, so you can kind of see my face. When there's so many breads that I'll see that people have done homemade, and you can always see. I don't know how to explain it super well, but the lines are all over it. It's not like this smooth, beautiful loaf. Does that make sense? You know what I'm yes. saying. So I just feel like every time she ever does a bread loaf, it always is so smooth. You don't see any of the rolling lines or anything like that. So this is what she has taught me. So let me try and then you. Okay. Okay, because I'm trying to make it as, as beautiful as her. Okay, I just got it. Um, did you answer the cast iron bread pans? I've never used one, but I would love to. Off subject, but I made an Italian picnic for my kids on Friday night while we watched for, um, oh, watched the Ute game and they loved it. It was a hit. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. We okay. love that. So with these little loaves, she goes like this. She like takes it in with her fingers and it's getting all the Perfect. bread bubble, bu Perfect. <laughs> bubbles out. Yes. Like this. And then you're doing a fold, okay? You're just like folding it in half, and then you're rolling. But what did I do? Yeah, that no, time? that was good. That was perfect. <laughs> he did that perfect. No, really. Okay, now you she, show. She really did. She did it perfect. And then, then you dip the top, dip the top, and then flip it over. 
Okay. And then let it start rising. She did it perfect. No, really. Yes, no, it. you did. She but did I just it. love how hers is so smooth. So I'm trying to get mine exactly Yours as smooth. is, Lizzie. You're, you're a perfectionist, and it's perfect. Okay, now we've got the air bubbles out. But see, right here on the ends, I'm tucking, tucking it in. in. I'm tucking it in a little, right here on the ends. I'm tucking it in, and then I'm folding it. I'm giving it a fold, and it's done. It's done. It's perfectly, it's perfect. Now I have this, I'm dipping it over, and it's finished. Okay, try that again. Okay, perfect, yes. Okay, that was perfect. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay, now make sure to spray the pan super good. Yeah, really good. Okay, so are there any questions? Okay. Are there any questions? So, hi, sweet friends. It was so fun to meet you both at Swiss Days. I bought... The, oh, I brought the lime cookie. Oh, you. The lime cookie. Oh, my cookie. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're dying for you that recipe. You better give us that recipe. We want, it, we want to um, showcase we that. We have to showcase that. We have that. to. It's probably one of the best cookies besides our own Kamut chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. You guys, she brought us this sugar cookie with a lime on top of it, that you, you squeeze, squeeze the lime, lime on juice. top. It's and I'm not insane. kidding. We would not be overreacting over no. this. It's amazing. No, it's amazing. Please send yes, us the recipe. Yes, send us. Talk to us. We're dying. Please. Okay. Um, is what spray do you use? We just love the Kirkland spray. It's great. It's great. Is your nonstick spray a butter spray? Why do you dip it? It's not a butter spray. We just dip it because the top gets a little bit of the oil, just a little bit on top, and it helps to brown it a little bit. Okay, Liz, how do you um, defrost? Do you unwrap and put on the counter? No, I just take it. Take right, it out of the bag. Just, no, no, I don't take it out of the bag. I no, just, just out of the take freezer, the bag out, the out bag. of the freezer <laughs> and just put it on That's top of I the mean. counter. Yes, and it's defrost really fast. Okay, now I'm You don't glad. even have to take it out. It defrosts super fast. Yeah. Okay, what, okay. what are we now showing? Okay, keep going with this. I'm so happy with whatever happened in the beginning because I'm going to show you <laughs> what, ha what you can do to redeem yourself if you put a little too much flour in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to show you how quickly, um, if you just cover already... I'm going to show you how this has come up. Okay, this was the first one I said, wait a minute. I think I've got too much flour in. Look at this. If this ever happens to you, it's okay. You're not going to throw it out. You're just going to keep it and let it rise. Look already how sticky. Yeah, so Look it's at great. this. The gluten is already working. It's already sticky. So now... I'm going to show them, Lizzie, what I would do. Okay. Okay. Um, so now it's... It says, you girls make me feel so good. I will get an email to you. Made your pumpkin chocolate chip bread with Kamu. Holy moly, so good. That is amazing. Can you use olive oil instead of the spray or butter? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And get the olive oil spray. So if everyone can see this, how sticky this is already. Do you remember when I was mixing it up? It was really... It was, you know, it just looked like, ah, that's, that can't be right. But already in just this amount of time, I'm able to work with this. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to add my, um, Lizzie, would you get me some melted butter, please? So I yes. need five tablespoons. I can use, let's just use olive oil. So it's five tablespoons of melted butter or Sorry, olive honey. oil. So I'm going to add another third Five of a, tablespoons of butter, I mean olive oil? Yeah, I'm going to add another, um, well, not, no, not five, I'm not doubling it. It's three and a half. I'm sorry, just a minute. I am always doubling, so I'm, it's probably my problem. I'm honey, you need bubbling. the salt. Yeah, so I need a tablespoon of salt. Okay, so a tablespoon of salt, I have the honey. And now I'm just going to add three and a half tablespoons of butter or olive oil. Okay, so there's three, okay, and a half, okay? And then I will mix this around. And if we to... wanted to put everything bagel seasoning on the top of the loaf, do you do that before you bake it? Um, yeah. Yes. 
Okay, now I'm mixing this up and then I will add not as much flour. This is not in our cookbook. So this is on our website, thefoodnanny.com or you have it on your bag, on your little five pound bag that you buy from us. So it's amazing. Oh, we will share that lime sugar cookie. Maybe we should cook one with her or something. Maybe we need to talk to you and do yeah. a little live with you or something. We need to make that and share it with everybody. You will be in heaven. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, let's get this out on top of here so I can read this. this. Yeah. Okay. It's just going to be one more second. I'm just going to show them how easy it is. Here, I'll start filming them. Okay, to redeem yourself. So I've only added one and a half cups. And I've had too much to begin with, so I'm just about there. It's just about actually perfect. Add a little more. So remember, remember our rules with the bread. We just need, we've got everything into it and we're just needing it. So what we did this time was we added too much flour up front, which is still okay. It's still totally fine. Your bread is not ruined especially when you're making a sponge, okay? And so now we will just knead this down and just literally put it in um, purple Perfect. to let it rise, okay? Okay. And here's what the other one looks like and it's almost, it's almost ready to go to add the rest of the flour. So, what? super easy. Any questions? <laughs> <sighs> other questions so then you just let them rise in the bread I mean your little pan and tell them how you know it's ready for the oven and then we just give it you know when when we stick our finger down in and it and it stays we know that it's ready for the oven this one is not quite staying it's coming and you down. can put all your minis in the oven at the same time yeah you don't have to put so many in and then wait and then do it again. Okay. Anyways, it's very good. And then you just need to know that make sure to flip your bread over. Make sure it's light brown on the bottom. And you'll know your bread is done. So it's for amazing. the minis, cook it 18 to 20 minutes. Depending on your oven, cook the minis 18 to 20 minutes. Cook the large loaves 30 minutes. The two large loaves, 30 minutes. So everybody, you can do it. It'll change your life. You'll be making this for the rest of your life and eating it and loving every minute of it. What brand so, is my mini loaf? These ones I got, weren't these from Morrison Gigi? Yes, yeah. and mine was from Sir Latav. They're called Baker's Secret. Yeah, and this and one is And yours are Sir, Sir Latav. So either one are great. They're actually six by three and a half. Could you make you, um, could you use disposable mini bread pans? Sure, yes, just make sure to grease really well or you know, oil really well before you put the dough in. So it's perfect. And then we just get those great uh, bread bags that are from Orson Gigi. We'll do like a, after the bread's done, we'll do a story. Yeah. We'll do a story and show you and then we have the clips from Ikea. It's perfect. Yeah. So from start to finish, it's close to an hour. No, longer than an hour, really. Because by the time, it depends if the weather's super warm and your, um, first, your first rise comes up super fast. You know, I, we say 20 to 30 minutes, but it might come up super fast. Then go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients, knead it, and then put it to rise again. But then after the second rise, you have to form it into the loaves and then let it rise again. So it's not start to finish. Make in sure an your hour. kitchen's warm. It's, All those tips that we talk about. Yeah, it's really. You'll make it's it more go like faster. Two and a half. Yeah, for the Kamut bread. It really is. It's a labor of love. Yeah. But you'll just double the recipe. But it's really not. I, it's so I easy. hardly make um, one recipe. I haven't done it for months. I make a double recipe. So that's what's in my mind. So 
I All right. Believe. So I always make 12 <laughs> loaves at once. Okay, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Have, Have a wonderful best. day. We're to, listen, we're headed to the Tastemakers Conference tomorrow and the next day. So we'll see our friends there. Everybody, don't forget about the Choke Cherry Festival in Woodland on Saturday. If you have anything to do, if you don't have anything to do, come up to Woodland. Go Good to company. the Choke Cherry Festival. It's so fun. It is and, so fun. Um, Look at, thank you, thank you. It's worth it. <laughs> yes, it is worth it. Thanks, everybody, for a great week. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we hope that we've shown you how to do this kamut bread, and we'll show it again. Okay, we'll keep someone it says World Market has a pan um, that has like eight mini loaves, like a muffin pan, but mini loaves. Would that work, yes. or are the individual better? Um, I think individual is better. Yes, but you also have that. You have that pan. I know, but I haven't even used it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. She needs to try it <laughs> because she has that pan too. Of course it would work. And you can rewatch. Don't easier. worry. You can rewatch. We love you okay, guys. We love you guys. Have the best day. Keep cooking. Your family's worth it. <laughs>